What's up everybody, welcome to another installment of my GTA 5 first person story mode. Hope you've enjoyed the previous episodes, my name is Anthony Walker, this is Nervous Ron, and trust me ladies and gentlemen, if you saw me recording this, this took a fucking load to do. This took a while to do, but I eventually got there, and I'm going to show you how I did it right now in first person. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here at the Games Matter channel. Your support matters, your feedback matters as well, anything I can do to improve, and until next time, peace out. We're here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. That it, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed. Fruity leather, chap wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Go say it. The base. Big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, to right now, I'm his fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yeah, Trevor. Thank you. Now smile. Yeah, that's that. Now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe what they fucking destroyed my statue of the rage. The cheek! Huh? The fucking cheek. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield. Check it out. in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-powered scope. Now then, how you feel about brand synergy, huh? DC Industries, ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. It'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? It'll be quiet as a mouse. Selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. Non-refundable, I should add. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. 
Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run! We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them! We are? Yes, we are! Did I get a rock? I'm waiting at the water tower! Oh dear, I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of fight. Up here! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Really? Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me. Get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Hold up! There's a guard standing under the control tower! Shit! I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! Maybe if you shoot those lights on the tower, it won't be so obvious! Lights off! Good! Now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out! wants to pay his respects, I ain't one to cut that. You should have seen the look on his face. There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out. Shit. This ain't a joke. So long, sailor. Oh, no. Bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. He's down there, amongst the bodies. Okay, I'll get to him. And they all came tumbling down. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. Come on, man. Cover me. I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I can't. There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. Someone's coming out the far door, man. There's a second guy, coming out of the building! Good kill, Trevor! I'm fitting it! Just keep a lookout! And, whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! Someone's coming! He's gonna get me before I finish! He knows I'm here! A bolt from the blue! I always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority. If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might think he crashed. Might they? They might.
One dead biker is as good to me as another. I'm afraid I gotta confiscate this weaponry.
to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. <laughs> I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Port Sankudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> 